What up, YouTube family? Welcome back, man. Thank y'all for checking in. Hey, check this out, man. I got this story, man. Just came out a couple days ago. Um, it's fairly new about our boy Jay Z. Uh, Jay Z net worth, billionaire status in danger. Rapper faces two billion dollar lawsuit after Bacardi rejects buyout offer. I got the news report right here. I'm gonna read off my iPad. Let's get into the details and let's get into the facts. So, Jay Z and Bacardi partnered up with Kanye Duce back in 2012. But it appears that the partnership has now soured and allegations have been thrown around. As per recent developments in Jay-Z and Bacardi's feud, the rapper offered to buy the liquor company for $1.5 billion, but the offer was rejected, which has caused him to raise an eyebrow. This comes months after the evaluation of the brand. According to TMZ, the rapper estimated worth Duce's amount to $2.5 billion, while Bacardi said that the brand was worth only $460 million. Now, the question is, why did Bacardi refuse Jay-Z's offer three times what Bacardi estimate, uh, estimated? Uh, reports note that the rapper accuses Bacardi of lowering the uh, appraisal of the brand. And court documents also read that Jay-Z is asking for a modified arbitration to settle the sale. Complex reports that the dispute lawsuit between Jay-Z and Bacardi could go more than $2 billion. Uh, transparency dispute between partners has been going on for quite some time now and the lawsuit is mostly anchored by jay-z's insistence on transparency the partnership is 50 50 which entitles both access to all information regarding the warehouse barrel storages bottles accessories and more reports say jay-z maintains that bacardi has withheld access to all books and records as well as the location of the cognac's products and materials According to the Daily Mail, UK Bacardi has been stalling and evading Jay-Z's attempts to get accurate worth of the brand. Elsewhere in their report, the rapper's legal team also accused Bacardi of mismanagement, which has caused profits, which is why Bacardi rejected his offer. However, on the other hand, Bacardi claimed that the deal between it and the rapper only was a handshake deal. Was a handshake deal? Boy, Jay-Z don't do no goddamn handshake deals. This man ain't made a billion dollars on no goddamn handshake deals. And then y'all trying to, you know, hey, Bacardi trying to lower the value of, 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 of assets. It's estimated to be worth $2.5 billion. Y'all coming in low, saying that it's worth $460 million. Y'all know Jay ain't going for that. Jay bought his motherfucking money. Uh... Furthermore, Bacardi claimed that the rapper abruptly reneged on its agreement and doubted its demanded uh, evaluation. Duce is, in itself, one of the most prominent spirits out there. It has received several shout-outs and songs, including Beyonce's Drunk in Love, Justin Timberlake's Suit and Tie, and Rick Ross' Devil is Alive. This comes as no surprise because the rapper has done several promotions over the years, even bringing its brand to the Grammys when he won an award. Um, as of this writing, there isn't much word on how the brand will go forward in the future, mostly because everything is still murky. Perhaps one, uh, perhaps more advancement in the case will bring light to how Duce will fare. So it, it sounds like to me, I don't know. Y'all let me know. The side boy Jay, he known for being a businessman, very strategic, very precise. Jay move in silence and make very, very good deals. Um, I don't know what the hell they talking about. This handshake situation they had with Jay. And then it, it, it was a handshake 50-50 deal. You know, they, they I, I guess the, uh, Bacardi said, hey, man, you know, we had a meeting. We said we were going to do a deal. I mean, it wasn't really no paperwork sign shit. We just shook hands. I just don't get it. I mean, I don't. I, I, I mean, y'all let me know. I ain't heard nothing shady that Jay did. I mean, I'm trying to buy a company that allows me access to how much the company is worth. That allows me to have access to the books. I need to know what's the upside, what's the downside, what's the debt. You know, them them basic fundamentals of buying a company. You dig what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't, I, I hadn't read anything that Jay did that was shysty. <laughs> Sound like all the shysty slick shit coming from Bacardi. You know, they trying to withheld evidence. They trying to, uh, not evidence. 
let me recant. But they trying to not allow Jay to see the books and other business information to allow him to evaluate him and his team to evaluate how much the uh the company worth. And I don't know, <clears throat> lowering the value of, 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 of what certain particular assets uh cost. I don't know how the hell you get from 2.5 billion to 460 million. That ain't just a couple dollars. So, I mean, it's basic shit, you know? It's like selling a house. Maybe I'm a black guy trying to sell my house and you wanna come in low and appraise my house to be 300,000. Really, it's worth 450. You dig what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know, man. This shit sound like it's shady. It don't sound like nothing Jay doing wrong. It sound like Bacardi in the wrong. And they showing it with all the slick shit they doing about not letting him see the books, not telling him certain locations for them to do their own due diligence on the company, not telling him where certain assets and, uh, and other parts of the brand is located. So, I mean, y'all let me know, man. Get in the comments, man. We got Jay-Z. In a $2 billion legal war with Bacardi. That's what's going on, man. So, uh, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank y'all. Peace.